my dog and it's how you know it's hot as hell in Houston when you hear these little chiggas or whatever they call <laughs> I don't even know what they call but it's these little insects that make a, a noise whenever it's hot as fuck so like hold on all these cars passing my seat probably can't hear it y'all heard it girl it is hot hey y'all so I am back and, and I've been rocking my pixie cut for a couple months now and I'm just getting tired of it. Not necessarily getting tired of it, but I need to switch it up some. So I'm about to try to put a wig on or something. I look like an old man who's going bald. Okay, so I had already put the wig on, honestly, but then I figured I need to pick up the camera and do it. So that's why it's I'm already looking like a... <laughs> I don't know, like I'm missing some hair or something. Okay, see, I'm just about to put this closure wig on. And I actually had a video of this wig. This is the wig from Love Me Hair that I did a couple months ago. But yeah, I'm just gonna put that wig on because I want to do a frontal, but I live in Houston, Texas, and it's too hot to wear in frontals. Your wig will be sliding back and everything. I don't have time for that. Like, what's the temperature right now? It's 95 right now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave some of my hair out in the very front just so it can look more. Seamless and plus it's like a four inch parting or something like that. So I don't want the part to stop right here because it's a four inch parting. So it's not already short. So I'm just going to like add my real hair in the front just so it can, the part can go back a little more. And so it won't just look like, I don't know, the wig is just sitting on my forehead. Like I want this to look as natural as possible. Because before I cut my hair, I started doing like a lot of sew-ins and stuff like that. And I just love sew-ins now. Again. Because I used to love I used to love them back in high school. But I'm just stuck on sew-ins again. And I wanna try some um some tapings or something. I don't want to do micro links. That seemed like too much work. But some tapings. I could definitely do some tapings. That'd be so cute. So today I'm actually supposed to be going to this party with my mom and it is like what she said the, the theme is like Daisy Dukes and Boots or something like that but that's so cute. So I bought me some cowboy boots off Amazon of course because I don't know when the next time I'm going to wear cowboy boots. So I just bought some cheap cowboy boots off of Amazon and they should be getting here today which is really last minute because the party is tonight. So hopefully nothing happens with the delivery. Like nothing bad happens with that. And it is, I'm able to get it today because I, I don't know what I will wear tonight. Cause I don't really have any boots that even look similar to cowboy boots. Hell, I barely have boots, honestly. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, let me just add a little more to my to my hair at the front. Just to blend it in. Yeah. But maybe I should leave it dark. I don't know. I haven't did a wig in I don't know how long. Probably since that video, honestly. And y'all, I'm mad. I kind of styled it already. And it got makeup on it. I should wash this wig. I don't feel like doing that shit. Because I got other stuff to do today. So I don't feel like washing wigs and doing the most. Yeah, this is my first time like um, leaving the hair out in the front while putting the wig on. So I don't know what. It was cute though when I had it on my head, so I'm, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Okay, let me just tighten this wig. I'm dropping stuff. Okay, so now let's place this in the right place. Where do I want it? I kind of want to do the deep south part. taking the wrong way um <laughs> I'm so, oh yeah i got my kilo cut off well i ain't getting cut off cut it off myself that shit 
Don't do that at home. It was very painful, but all I did was like tie a rubber band around it. And then I just left the rubber band off for a couple of days. I think it fell off after like, how many days did it take to fall off? I really don't remember. Like three or four days. But don't do that shit. I mean, it worked and hopefully it don't come back, but I just felt like that was really dangerous of me. Oh, and I also bought like a mount for my um camera. That's the main thing. And that's what I wanted to come before I even started. Because I know I want to record myself doing this. So I really was hoping that that camera mount came before I did my hair. But it's already going on 1 o'clock. So I just need to start on it. Y'all, culture wigs may be my new thing. Like, I really fuck with this. It looks so good. Well, I think it do, at least. So. I'm just excited because I just hate, I just really hate when it just look all lacy and wiggy and all that kind of stuff. Like that's, that kind of been turning me off from wearing frontals. And I was like, I was really getting over frontals. Like, cause I just hate looking wiggy. But this, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this way more often. Um, let me pick the camera up so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I mean, the cameras make me look worse. It looks better in person. I don't know what's going on. I hate cameras. But, I'm not, and first of all, I'm not done. So, it's going to be cute when I'm done. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm excited. Y'all, I'm so excited behind this because I look cute. I'm not fucking weird though. But, ugh, I need to call my sister. Sorry. Hey. Hey, look at my hair. I'm excited for some reason. Uh, it's a wig, but that one, that one look good. Yeah. I don't know why I'm just so happy. Oh, dang. But, but this is my real edges. I think that's why I look good, because this is my real hair. Yeah, that was good. Y'all, so this is the finished result of my hair. Well, for now at least. I might fix it up later if the curls fall. But, what is that? I guess it's just sticker right there. Oh yeah, it's so cute. I love it so much. I'm obsessed with it. Hey y'all, so I'm back. It is like probably three going on four hours later. And I am, as you can see, I got my glasses, so. How they look? They look cute. And I feel like I look so good. I was just telling Kelsey, like, I feel like I look a new person. Like, I got... Y'all should see me yesterday. Did I? I don't even think I showed y'all how I was looking yesterday, but I was looking so rough. I don't like the glare on these glasses. That's the only thing. No, but yesterday I was looking horrible. Like, everything was bad. But now I got my hair done. Nails done for the most part. And you refill, but they still done. Everything did, new glasses. And, I don't, did I say this? I really don't be remember what I say, but I got Final Cut Pro now. So, I'm really excited to start editing with that. This whole time, I've been using um, iMovie. And, I mean, it was working, but I just wanted better transitions. In order to get Final Cut Pro, I had to update my laptop. And... <laughs> I just hate how Apple works exactly. Like, it's a lot of stuff about Apple that really pissed me off, but I'm not going back to Samsung, so I can't. But, like, I just really hate how they do, like, the memory. Like, obviously, these computers have enough capacity to take on more memory. Why do you only give us a limited amount of memory starting off with and then once we run that up y'all want to offer oh you can get a 250 gigabytes for ten dollars a month or however many i just made that number up but it's something like that like why not just give me all the gigabytes that it come with like i'm already paying the fucking price for the the laptop like just give me everything that this capable this uh computer is capable of like they just want money. Like, that's why they keep switching up the charges every year. Not every year, but every other year, however often they do it. But I just really hate that. Like I was saying, like, so when I uploaded, when I updated my computer, that took up a lot of memory. That was like a couple gigabytes on its own. Just for the update. Not the 
Now the Final Cut Pro just the update took up hella space. So then after I downloaded that, then I had to download Final Cut Pro. So that took up hella space too. And then it's like now I gotta upload my videos to the laptop and that's taking up even more space. It's just a lot. I mean, I'm gonna keep messing with it, but I think I'm about to take like a lunch break or something. I got um, torchies. I'm not sure if torchies is everywhere or not. I don't know. I know we have torchies here in Houston, but I got the Mr. Orange taco. I had the I had this. I had two tacos, so I had this one that I'm about to eat, and it come with this green sauce. It came with this green sauce. I guess it's an avocado sauce. Well, looks can be deceiving. It's not full all the way. But, um, I'm excited because I had that before, but I'm just excited because it's like salmon, I think. It's a salmon taco. And they have other stuff. I can't remember the ingredients, but I remember it sounded really good. So I'm excited. I get excited about everything. I just been really excited recently. There's a lot of changes that's happening in my life, but I mean, I know that like it's all happening. Like, some of the stuff is happening, even though I don't want it to happen. But I know at the end of the day, like, a lot of this is for my greater good. So, I'm just trying not to, like, overthink it and just appreci appreciate the journey. But, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard. But So, now I'm just going to glamorize everything in my life and romanticize everything. So, that's why I'm excited because I'm about to romanticize eating this taco and watching the shy oh is it a new episode y'all i binge watched the shy so i'm all caught up now i love how i look with glasses this is so cute i can know i want to wear these glasses to work also like at my nine to five job but i don't know everybody in the office that i work in wear glasses and this is i guess this is just me caring too much about what people think but like everybody in the office wear glasses and i just don't want people think oh well you're you just wearing glasses because everybody else wearing glasses even though like who gives a fuck honestly what you think but i just hate hearing people in mouths because like in my job like people feel so entitled and they, they can just feel like they can just say anything and i'm like why are you why are you even comfortable enough to say this to me? You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't... I, I didn't allow you to get that comfortable. So, you need to calm down. Like, that's how I be feeling, but... I try not to say it. But sometimes it come out here. Because they, they be pushing you to that limit. I'm rambling at this point, so... Let me finish editing this video. Okay, so... It is... 9 o'clock at night. And I got the same stuff on. So, but is this angle different? Does this give you any different vibes at all? Well, my, what is it called? Camera mount, my suction camera mount is here, obviously. That's how I have this direct front view. But I love it so far. No, I just made a lot of good purchases, purchases recently. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get ready well i'm about to start my makeup i should have been starting my makeup honestly but i know my mom ain't ready and she stayed far as hell from me so it's, she's still it's gonna take her a while just to get to me so i have a little time but i still need to hear you y'all this is i love this angle and i honestly don't i still don't know what i'm about to wear honestly so I need to be thinking about that. I mean, I know I'm gonna wear like shorts and some boots. Some boots will have some costume boots. Let me show y'all real quick. So y'all, this is the box that the boots came in. It's a nice little box. It make it look like it's gonna be good quality, but maybe like if the bar, if this was black, It'll probably look less cheap, I guess. I don't know. It just something about it just looks so cheap to me. Um, and then it's like I guess because yeah, it's all flimsy. Usually the cargo boots are more stiff than this. I mean, it's still gonna be cute. 
This is how it looks. So a traditional cowboy boot print, I guess. But I mean, I don't have a choice but to wear them at this point because I don't have any other boots. But it's still gonna be cute. It's still gonna be really cute. I'm used. Hey y'all, so I am dressed and this is how my outfit is looking. So I have on a white crop top, this blue and orange and cream flannel, some little shorts, and my cowboy boots. This is so cute in my little purse from Zara. I got a watch on. Yeah, this is so cute. I love this outfit. I definitely think it's some pictures in this outfit. And then I have these glasses that I probably want to take my pictures in. Hold on. Yeah. These are cute. How am I take a picture? And I didn't even charge my light. That would be so cute. My mom is downstairs, so I'm about to go get her. But yeah, we about to head there, and I am gonna take my camera, even though I don't know this person whose party this is. So I don't know. I I'm, I'm gonna record either way, go, but either way, whether it's on my phone or on my camera. But we gonna see. in the house and I am a little tipsy. I'm a little I ain't gonna lie I'm a little smack I'm a little drag what she say? I don't fucking know I'm a little that whatever uh, young and basic I'm, I'm that the fuck. excuse that music in the background that's some shit I put on for my dog so she gonna be bored while I was gone yeah so I'm back in the house. It was so fun. I had fun. I was looking cute. And I was dancing, surprisingly. Y'all, I'm really shy and focused for the most part. But I feel like I'm getting out of it because I don't want to be acting as shy as I usually do. So I don't know. So I was doing like his Zydeco dances and shit. Well, doing what I thought was Zydeco dance. I don't fucking know. I was like. <laughs> When I think about you, I think about giving myself to you, and you ain't want to say, and I want to do everything. Y'all, I think I'm drunk. Because when I think about you, I think about giving myself to you. Harris still attack, you know, it was hot as fuck in that club. I'm going to do all my wigs like this, like with the lace all the way back and the real baby hairs. I'm doing all my wigs like this from now, from now on. Like, I have to. Oh, my God. I love it. But, yeah, so I'm about to, like, wind down and, you know, like, get myself together because I don't. It's just time to go to sleep. And I really hope these pictures turn out cute. So, I'm about to look at these pictures. I'm about to wind it down for the night. And then I will guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, bye y'all.
Hey y'all, so this angle is kind of weird, but it is days later once again, and I am currently looking for an apartment. Um, yeah, like I told y'all in my last vlog, I am moving soon, so really soon, and I still need to find a place to stay. So hopefully I can find a nice apartment today. I'm I plan on seeing multiple. I actually came um I actually came, I'm sorry, I'll tell y'all on the most I test. But I actually came over here a couple days ago and they didn't have anything to show. But they called me saying, tell, telling me to come today. So hopefully they got something that I can actually see. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get today. But yeah, um, hopefully I can actually see something today. Cause I had to drive like 40 minutes away. So hopefully I can see something that's worth it. But um, yeah, I'm actually about to go inside. I'm already late. Ugh. I'm late as fuck. But yeah, I might record while I'm in here. I might not. I don't know. We're just gonna see what happens. Hey y'all, so I'm back and I had this hoodie on even though it's the summertime, but it's cold in here and plus I didn't want y'all to see my hair, so I have a hoodie on. I don't know if I told y'all that I had bought a pole. This is the box, oop, this is the box that the pole came in. I ordered it off Amazon. I heard from a pole instructor that this is a really good pole and it's reliable. And I was, she was pretty small, so I'm like, okay, do you think you can hold me? Cause I'm way bigger than you. And she was just telling me, oh, well, her boyfriend or her husband, whoever he was, he gets on the pole too. So if he can hold him, it should be able to hold me. So we about to see how I put it together. And yeah. It's only four steps to putting this pole up, but I don't know. I'm a little nervous. This don't look like enough information to me. Let me see if they have like a video or something on Amazon where I can look at. Click on the pole. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do we have a video? Oh, he do have a video. Okay, let's see what he said. I wanna watch it. Okay, base on the floor. Then screw in. We going too fast. What? Okay, I can't show y'all. Hold on, I gotta concentrate. Okay, he said. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, smallest piece is the base. Okay, stop the video. Let me open. Hey, Chloe, you gonna say hey to y'all? To the vlog? To the vlog? Hey! Say hey. Y'all, she need a bath, and she just got through eating, so that's why her beard a little brown. But hey, 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 Ooh, okay, fine. So, so we're gonna put it right there. It's right by the living room, but I really just don't want to block this space because I want us to be able to walk without having to walk around the pole. Okay, you said put the short on. Okay, short on. So as y'all can see, it's probably hours later because you can probably tell by the lighting. But it's up. Y'all see it? It's up. A oh. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. Um, let me try to show y'all something. Oh, good. It, and this pole came with some hand grip. So 
That was a real clutch. Oh, I'm dizzy just from that. That's funny. But this is so fun. Let me try to hold the camera. <laughs> I can't even hold on to with one hand. <sighs> yeah, that's your heart. Hey, I'm tired. That's enough today. Hopefully, I look good doing it. But, um, so, y'all, I'm so tired just from that. So, yeah, I've been working on this all day and just building apartment list for my clients. So, I actually need to respond to my client. Yeah, I need to respond to her. She just texted me while I was walking my dog. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm, uh, I might do something tonight. So, I'm gonna get back to y'all later, depending on what I decide to do. Hey y'all, so I'm back and don't look too hard on my hair because it's not, <laughs> it's not doing what it's supposed to do. I am back and now I'm actually about to make some chicken enchiladas. This will be my first time making ch chicken enchiladas, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna see. So I'm very lazy right now. And we're just already late, so I don't really feel like doing too much. So I just bought a rotisserie chicken and that's what I'm gonna use as the chicken for my enchiladas. I bought a barbecue, a mesquite barbecue chicken. I mean, even though it's Mexican, it's still gonna be good. Ooh, maybe I should use my cast iron skillet. Oh, she gonna be using this because I don't have any cast iron skillet. So I'm just about to start on this and yeah. Y'all guess you guys can watch.
so I'm back. I don't know when was the last time I recorded, and I recorded on my phone, so uh, the quality's a little inconsistent. But yeah, so today I'm here, and I am just about, I'm sorry, I'm looking at everybody, I'm at the gas station, but um, yeah, so today I'm here, uh, you see I got my realtor pin on, so that means I'm about to do some real estate related stuff. So my client, she is out of town. Well, she lives in another state. So she wants me to, I'm checking to make sure that that doesn't. Actually, let me go stop it. Okay, y'all, so I think my umbrella, it just started raining out of nowhere. But yeah, so I'm here today and I am about to go tour some apartments for my client. She lives in another state, so she's obviously she's not able to tour herself. Also, I need to get some like period panties. Do y'all use period panties? Like the ones I guess you're not supposed to or you don't have to wear a pad with them or something like that. But I'm not I don't trust just the period panties and this seemed pretty like oh I don't know. And I don't even know if that's the right use for it. I don't know, I'm just talking, but I'm about to get some just because I'm gonna get a piece some pear panties and I'm gonna get a diva cup. I had a diva cup before and I used to use it and I loved it too, but I lost it somehow. I don't. I went out of town one day and I lost it. I just been using like the L is for love pads recently and well for the last past year and I've been hearing a lot of people talk about oh don't use this brand. It has a titanium dioxide which is can cause cancer and different illnesses and have can create reproductive issues and all that kind of stuff and i'm just like okay well let me just try to switch it up and go the most natural route because this is too much no, we can't do shit like everything is has the potential to fucking kill us so it's just like uh, i'm just trying to go the most natural route yeah, so I'm pretty sure most of these pads, even the ones that they say it's like chlorine free and why am I a wish our Even the ones that say they're like chlorine free and free of pesticides and dyes and all this kind of stuff. Like I'm, they all have something in them that isn't healthy for our reproductive system or just us in general. Cause like with the ones I'm talking about, they're, they claim to be all oh, pesticide free, dye free, chlorine free, free of all harmful chemicals, but yeah, you have titanium dioxide. Come on now. So I'm about to do that. I heard Victoria's Secret has some period panties, so I might go to Victoria's Secret to see if I can find something. If not, I'm gonna go to Target. I really don't know if they have some. So, but I'm gonna just go just to see if I can find some. Y'all, these lashes are so cute. They're strip lashes, but I'm thinking about doing like some, y'all, I got glue showing. But I'm thinking about doing like some DIY um, lash extensions. I might have to buy another pair of these and do like my DIY lash extensions. Cause these are cute and they give like a lash extension feel. Oh, also y'all, I still got the wig way back here with the real edges and stuff. And I feel like I really did a good job this time. I mean, you can still see it a little bit, but if you looking at heart, if you can see my lace, or if you know it's a wig, or you notice it's, way, it's pushed all the way back, that means you're looking too hard, and you need to mind your business or find some business to mine. But, but yeah, so I need the GPS, and I'm recording my phone, so I'll talk to y'all later. Floor plan, this one is 835 square feet. Um, they were saying that depending on which apartment you choose, if it is available, you can choose a different finish. So they have the darker finish, which is this, and the lighter finish, which you see in the other video. Girl, I love this apartment, and I'm pretty sure you would too. It's really spacious. entrance to the bathroom here and you also have your bedroom for this one your closet will be inside of the bedroom and it's way deeper
washing dryer. We have the bathroom with the same dark finishes. Same tub as the last one. 